Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to open a new project in VS Code, install the Azure CLI, connect to our Azure account, and install a Terraform extension. So, let's get started. First things first, what we want to do is we want to install the Azure CLI. This is going to allow Terraform to authenticate and access the Azure API. So let's go ahead and knock that out. Now I am on a Windows computer. And if we head over here to this link, which is provided in the resources, you'll see we have installation instructions for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. So go ahead and choose the operating system you're using and go ahead and install. Now I'm going to be installing on Windows and I'll go ahead and show that process. It's not too complicated for Windows. We just need to download this file and run it. So I'm going to do that. All right, and I'm going to run that file now. All right, all set. Of course, if you're not done, go ahead and pause the video while your installer finishes up. I'm going to go ahead and click finish. And now, since I already have VS Code open, I'm just going to close it and reopen it. All right, VS Code has been restarted. I'm going to go ahead and open a terminal. All right, so now what I'm going to do is just run AZ login to get logged into my account. Now for you, you can choose a browser to open and you will log in to Azure and get all signed up. I'm actually going to show the alternate route just in case you have a problem with the browser. So what you can do is use a AZ login dash dash use device code. So I'm going to control C out of this. And again, you don't have to do this if everything worked fine. I just wanted to make sure that we cover all the avenues here. So AZ login, use device code, just like so. And as you can see, we've got a link right here. So I'm going to paste that link in just like so. And as you can see, I'm already logged into Azure. And then I just need to grab this code and paste it in. There we go. And continue. All right, it says we've signed in. Let's verify. There we go. And you can also validate by running AZ account show. Just like so. All right, so now that we've done that, let's go ahead and add the Terraform extension. Now you can use the official one, but honestly, the official one has some pretty terrible reviews. So I've been using this one here. Let's go ahead and choose that extension and install it. But again, you're more than welcome to use any extension you'd like here. And then what we need to do is open a new folder where we'll store our files. So let's go ahead and file, open folder. And I'm just going to hop into my documents. And I'm going to create a new folder. And we'll just call that Terraform Azure, just like so. Go ahead and open that, select folder, and all set. And once again, I'll just make sure that everything is set up for Azure. AZ account show. Still logged in, everything looks good to go. So now that we've got VS Code all set up, Go ahead and mark this lesson complete. Come on back to the next one and let's get working in Terraform.